Hello everyone, Game Doc here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Reborn. Now this time around, we got tasked with uh, going to go find Kane. Um, at the uh, oh my goodness, that is laggy. Okay, um, uh, yeah, that looks a bit odd. Okay, I may have mentioned this before, but the game sometimes isn't optimal. Sometimes, um, like all these rain effects, all these like weather effects, all these people, like it, it get it has a really tough time. Um running smoothly at times this game like honestly the I've, I've actually played around the obs window a little bit since the last episode it's running perfectly but the thing is the game is so laggy that you can barely tell i don't know now i really don't want to really want yeah i don't really want to fight many more um monsters in this area or a pokemon in this area because um i i'm a, starting to become a little bit more fearful of leveling up because i'm not gonna lie i thought i would have gotten the badge after that um, and that means I could have, uh, raised my Pokemon levels up to, uh, up to 45. Now, I gotta think, um... Okay, good, you can just go there on the boat. I was a little bit worried that we might have to find a different, um, means to get there. Now, okay, I'm a little bit worried as to this area, because I don't really remember much about it. Wait, what is down there? That's a Pokeball. I might have to find that at some point. Uh, let's see. That's too easy. That's gotta be a Mimic or something, or a Voltorb. Actually, what kind of Pokemon can be found here? We have, a uh, Fungus. Fungus is a good Pokemon. Not really my favorite, though, so I think I'm going to skip out on that. Field is swamped. I wonder what that means. Hmm, a swamped field. i got to think about that. I'm going to have to look that up afterwards. Uh, let's see here. I've got a potion. You know what I think is going to happen? I think we're going to be able to go into this. No, we're not. Huh. There's got to be a way to, like, move through here. Oh, you know what we could probably do? Ah, uh, yes, we could run these lily pads or whatever those are. Okay, that's going to take a little bit of time to get used to. Oh, okay, so I was right. This is a, um, probably a fungus. Yeah. Okay, so this is going to be your typical, they're going to be, like, a million mimics in this game kind of area. You know, I find the gimmick of fungus a little bit bizarre, actually. The fact that he, um, wait, what's this X right here? Can I walk on that? Can I search it? There's something shining on the ground. You recognize it as one of Kane's earrings. Oh, wow. I hope it's all right. Uh, Great Ball. That's pretty good. Hmm. Perhaps I gotta find the other one or something. I wonder if you can give that back to him. Probably should be able to. All right. Um, all of a sudden, this area looks a little mace-like, which is worrying me a little bit. Oh, no. Please tell me you have spirit. Yes, we do. We do have spirit on our team, which means we can cut these. All right. Oh, and a TM. Um, it looks like I'm gonna need, um, I'm going to need, uh, Surf in order to get that one. Alright, and for the time being, I don't Surf, like that one subreddit. Alright, so let's, uh, continue on this way. That's a cuttable tree, but I kind of want to... Um, that looks like it leads to a dead end or something. Does it? Uh, no, 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 it just seems to keep going. Okay, let's go up this way then first. Uh, maybe there's something over here I can do? No, or it doesn't really look like it, so apparently I have to go this way. Uh, there we go. Man, there are a lot of items here, but I, I, in the back of my mind, I know for a fact that, like, half of them are going to be funguses. But it's, it's still kind of exciting, though. Yeah, honestly, like this one right here. Like, this one is too easy. That This one has to be a fungus. Um, and it was, nevertheless. Yeah, honestly, I'm looking at the OBS window, because that's what I record with. It's probably my favorite thing to record with, actually. The game... Can, the game record or the, the window records flawlessly the thing is just the, the game is kind of laggy right now because of um uh because of how um because uh, of all the the weather effects like honestly what you are seeing is exactly what i'm seeing uh, an antidote that might come in handy oh by the way the game apparently got an update since the last time i recorded um it basically added a couple new feature oh a whooper oh man i actually kind of like whooper um Hmm. I'll think about this one. Wooper is kind of a fun Pokemon. Uh, let's see. Okay, so... Oh my goodness. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, I know what I was talking about. What you're seeing in the window, or what you are seeing, is exactly what I'm seeing. Like, it is really that laggy at times. Who knows? I'm still gonna find out what this Swamp Field does. You know, I just figured something out here. I probably shouldn't be using uh, Ricky up front because, um... Half these Pokemon uh, are immune to his attacks. Let's switch in, um... Hmm. Maybe the Castle Boss? Maybe Hero. Hero always needs some levels, so yeah, we'll, we'll put him up front. Okay, can we cut this? A Pokemon could, uh, could be in this tree. Maybe a Pokemon could shake it. Oh, there are headbutt mechanics in this game. I didn't know that. Alright. 
All right, so what do we got up here? Oh man, the hardest thing about laggy controls, like or laggy, a laggy looking game like this, is like, the controls get very laggy too. Um, in a game like Pokemon, it's not that big of a deal, just because of how um, of how turn based it can be sometimes. And then games on kind of a grid like this usually don't expect you to be to have lightning fast reflexes. Like if I had to do this in say like Sonic, like this would be unbearable <laughs> in terms of just the lag. <clears throat> Oh, I remember what I was talking about. I was talking about the new update. Apparently, um, they uh, they made a couple changes to um, uh, they they added some more some more areas. Um, like uh, for example, <clears throat> I'm nowhere near the end of this game yet, but um, I, they they pretty much just add a little bit more onto what was already there. Cause I keep mentioning over and over again, this game is a work in progress. Um, and it is far from done, but it's still like honestly. The developer, Amethyst, shows no signs of stopping, which is incredible, because I love seeing support for games like this. Um, I think the, the biggest difference I found, though, was that, um... That's another headbutt tree. I want to say the biggest difference I found, though, is that apparently they got rid of the, um... Um, the item, or the, um... You, you know when you look in a PC, it says, like, like, uh, like, Game Dogs, um... Game Dogs PC? It's, it's one the ones that, like, named after your own character, it's, um and it usually holds items, they apparently got rid of that, out of, out of the sheer fact that it's kind of useless having unlimited inventory in this game. Uh, which I'm assuming you do have, because a lot of the more recent Pokemon games uh, give you infinite inventory. I don't think it gives you infinite inventory, like, Pokemon is one of those games which you really shouldn't have to worry about that kind of thing. Alright. Like, honestly, who cares if I'm carrying, like, over 900 Master Balls? Okay, this looks suspicious. Is there really nothing here I can pick up? Well, it looks like there should be. Ah, there we go, a tiny mushroom. <laughs> I, I like I saw that, and I figured you know what there's got to be something there. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know about you guys, but my first several years playing Pokemon as a kid, I never really was into the mechanic of um of uh, finding items like that are like hidden in areas like that. I never really knew that you could do that. Um, and as a result, I my first like several playthroughs of uh, like Pokemon Silver, Yellow, the ones I did have, I never really bothered with that mechanic. Like I didn't even know it existed in the first place. Uh, it wasn't until I started seeing playthroughs on YouTube that I found out that you can actually do that. Kind of bizarre how YouTube teaches that you that kind of thing about um about uh, about games. Like honestly, one of my favorite things to do is to look up playthroughs of games that I loved so much as a kid, yet didn't really have any access to um internet wise. Like I think one of my favorite examples being the Light Crusader, which is one of my favorite games. Um, I went online, I looked up playthroughs of it, and apparently there's like there's like a golden armor you can get in the first 20 minutes that like negates all damage in the game or something. Um, however, I never knew about this until I saw that playthrough. Uh, and apparently there's also like a debug uh, menu you can go into, which I had a lot of fun with. Like it had like unused um, songs, which, oh, Miracle Seed. Oh, the Miracle Seed, oh. Oh, you know what we could give that to? We could give that to, um, uh, oh, wrong menu. We could give that to, uh, to Castle Boss actually. Yeah, because I think what this item does, it makes it so, um, it, like, boosts grass moves by 20%. Or the damage of grass moves do by 20%, and, uh, he does have a grass move, and it's not the greatest, but it's still something nevertheless. That's kind of cool I was able to find that item. Alright, so what I was talking about about Light Crusader? Ah, yes, okay. Like, I saw some really interesting things in the debug menu, like, uh, like, unused, um... I knew that was gonna be a mimic, okay. Like, uh, unused songs, unused voice clips, like, um, apparently the main character had, like, a voice clip where he would say, open the door, <laughs> and, uh, take this, that were just never used in the game. Uh, let's see, oh, this um, enemy has a tiny mushroom on if I really want to take it. Oh man, I'm gonna be using Hero a lot as well, um, uh, because, uh, because of his, like, frisk ability, but, um, let's see. An another one I found very interesting was, um, there's apparently an unused clip of, um, one of the main bad guys saying, die for me in Latin or something. Which is kind of crazy, actually. <laughs> That's a little morbid for a Genesis game. Alright, now we just found a Dusk Stone, which is an incredible item. Um, almost as valuable as that Leaf Stone we found, actually, though I don't really know that many Pokémon I would potentially use in a playthrough like this that evolved via that. Heck, the only one I can actually think of off the top of my head that evolves at all through, uh, through that item is, uh, Honkrow, or, a uh, Murkrow. Honestly, I'm actually, um, I've been getting back into, um, competitive breeding in Pokémon recently. Uh, one of the most recent breads I do I've done was, um, was, like, an adamant, um, Honkrow. Oh man, yeah, I've been doing that. I've been like, I, I'm really into competitive breeding in Pokemon, by the way. Like, it's just something I like to do a lot. It's just something fun that I can do on the side. 
uh, while I'm like doing homework or something. <clears throat> Let's see. Field is swamped. Tiny mushroom. There's like four prompts before I actually get into the battle. That's a little too much, honestly, but it's fine. Let's see. Is there anything up here? I noticed this up here. I kind of feel like I should be going this way first. Um, because it just kind of looks like it would lead to a dead end first. And uh, that is the golden rule in games like this. Like, always go to the dead ends first. Um, did I run into... Wait, was that the Mimic or was that me running into a random Pokemon? I honestly don't know. I just... I don't even think I hit the uh, the uh, the Z button there. Or the Z key. Uh, or the, the key I have for um, for Interact. Let's see, we're finding Time Mushrooms all over the place on these guys. Can I wish I had Thief or something? Uh, what is that? Oh, no, that was the, uh, that was the enemy. Okay, um... What the... Oh, I think I jumped down by accident. I did not mean to do that. Um, I didn't even know that was a ledge. Okay, we're going to have to run back then. <clears throat> um, oh, we're right back at the beginning. Okay, that's real embarrassing. Uh, let's go ahead and fix that. Let's see how long it takes me to run to the other side, actually. That could be kind of a fun challenge. A little bit of a speedrun challenge. Okay, this place is very big as well. Like, to the point at which I could just, um... Oh my goodness, I don't even remember how I got back there. Again, <laughs> that's a little bit embarrassing. Maybe back over this way. Um, oh no, yeah, yeah, it was like around here. Okay, so now I know that's a shortcut, so if I do want to head back, say to like heal my Pokemon or something, I could feasibly do that. Though mainly I haven't really been doing any battling whatsoever. Heck, I've been, I've been spending most of this episode kind of like talking about, um, talking about like, uh, like game, um, <clears throat> like game mentality and just uh, like philosophical, philosophical things I've been noticing. Wait, I just noticed a big um, string of a uh, things going. That looks. Wait, there's like an item over there. Look at that huge string of lily pads that I can probably run against. Oh man, where does that start? I kind of want to get that item if I can. Um, does it start right here? Kind of looks like it does. Hmm. I think I may have found a secret area. Or I guess it's like whole area is a secret area. Yeah, you can run by behind there. Okay, I'm gonna say I'm gonna um, guess that this is gonna give me a really cool item. Oh man, if this is worth it, then certainly this is this is definitely worth coming back and accidentally um, procking a ch procking a shortcut. Okay, that's kind of trollish. I'm not gonna lie. I guess <laughs> all that and it's a freaking fungus on the other end. Man, eh, whatever. Just run from you. We actually haven't been doing any battling in this episode. Like, you know, in a game like this, like this has got to be like at least one or two episodes that are just like running around. I kind of wish it was one in which isn't as laggy, but oh, phone call! <laughs> Not sure if you guys can hear that, but um, <clears throat> our home phone is going off. Oh no, <laughs> guys, this is the worst episode of all time. Okay, <laughs> I don't know. Someone will pick that up upstairs. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, someone did pick that up upstairs. Okay, that's good. Um. All right. What is down here even? Um. Okay, we got this run. I think this might be the right way again. Yeah, this is starting to look a little bit familiar. Not not too familiar, just a little bit. Uh, which I guess makes sense because I've only been through it once. Even though I have a really map or what, what do you call it when you would not really the not really like um photographic memory or whatever it's called, like where you just see something you remember. But I'm very good at memorizing maps. I notice. Like, if you saw me back when I say, like, played Minecraft personally, um, you'll notice that, like, I had these huge worlds, yet I never got lost in them just because I, I knew my way around. Same thing in real life, too. Like, I just know where everything is when I'm, like, when I'm, like driving, things like that. Okay, I'm gonna head down this way this time around so I don't, um, uh, so I don't knock, uh, knock, go past that place again. Let's see, that's a shakeable tree. Um, oh, I don't even need to shake that. I can just go down here. Uh, I think I have to cut this, though. Yeah, there we go. Oh man, speaking of Liker Seder, is it just me, or does the cry of lie part sound a lot like the the the, um, the death cry of those ghost enemies from Liker Seder? Like they they they've, they've always um kind of just sounded similar to me. Yeah, no. You know, I think I'll see you guys next time. We've kind of spent this whole episode just running around. Um, we have a golden shuriken right here, so we know some uh, some battle is going to come up pretty soon. So I think I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.